Hi everybody, I am back with a new game. Who would have thought? Fatal Frame slash Project Zero Three, The Tormented. The Tormented. Um, we're going to see quite how tormented they are. And get this started fresh. And we'll do this normal. One second. Right, let's get this started. Oh, I should have checked options. Oh well. Oh, I am taking notice, I promise. Okay, so there's a car crash or something? No, you! It's amazing how much better the CG is after just a couple years. Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too, if it's not. It's a bit tinny sounding. Rumors are just rumors. I'm not gonna look these up. No, you. This is going to be a joke that never gets old. No, what did you see? What have you seen? Oh, some kind of flashback. Okay, so the controls are different. Triangles to pull out the camera. Oh. What's he doing? Okay, I don't have a count for how much ammo I've got.
Okay. Gotta be quick. Chase after you later. Oh. Oh, there's no going back. Okay. Ah, too late. Okay, taking photos doesn't seem to make any difference. Oh, it floats through floors. So there was a car crash, she was photographing this house, and now she's seeing her bo her dead boyfriend. She just wants to break out into song. That's all she wants. this. At least she doesn't seem like 12 years old in this one. Oh, is that a ghost lady? Oh, hello viewer, welcome to the stream. Shit's about to get weird. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Oh. Don't hurt the pretty lady. Okay, she's spinning the fuck out. Are you okay? Oh, it was nothing. It was something. Hmm. She can have some kind of stigmata going on. I took a look at the photos and there's ghosts in there. She's got wicked cleavage. What's in the photo? Is you there? Yes, he is. Uh-oh. She needs to go there. Okay, is this like the second dream sequence within ten minutes? I mean, I'm fine with that. Just a bit, a bit confusing.
Dun dun dun, the tormented. How are you doing, viewer? Hope you're having a nice evening, day slash morning. Have you played this before? Do you want to give me any hints? Okay, I'm hoping they've improved this. Let's see if I can put subtitles on. The sign. Hour one. Okay, so it's not. It's a different type of chapter like the previous games. Okay, I'll have to see if I can put on subtitles after playing the game a bit. The fence gate is locked with a padlock. There's a small door on the other side. The lock is engraved with a notched arrow design. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. <laughs> There's head level annoying cloths. Hanging on both sides of the door there are candles burning with a blue flame. I don't really remember but maybe this is how I got in here. Right now the doors are firmly closed. Ooh, we've got a chase camera in this one. The previous games the cameras were always fixed points. I mean they could move, they could rotate like a video ca like a security camera, but they didn't follow you like this. Which is cool because it fucking got on my nerves in the previous game. Whenever the angle would change, you'd end up running in the opposite direction. There are some old candles inside this thing. Not candles that we want. Ooh. Okay, it's the same medicine from the previous games. We've got two directions. We've got that way. Do I have a map? Uh, oh, we've got an options setting. Okay, subtitles are already on. We're good there. I'm not going to fuck with that. Okay, let's just get back into the game. Oh. I want to walk the other direction and see what's there. Can I... Is there a map button? Oh, what have we got? Okay, so... L2 is the map button. I'm going to check that out first before going into that big room, because that looked like shit was going to happen there. Oh, I'm leaking this chase cam. Looks like there's another corridor like this one on the other side of the wall. Oh, this door opens as well. Fair enough. God, didn't get there in time. Oh, we've got more creepy dolls like in the previous games. Not running out of creepy dolls anytime soon. Hello, next viewer. I hope you're doing well this evening. I've just started about 10 minutes ago on this one. So if you have watched any of my previous ones, then you'll know. I'm not great at these, but I do enjoy playing them. I got rank E on the previous game. But still, I enjoyed it. What have we got here? We've got a shiny. Go to shiny. It's a piece of paper or something on the floor. A memo in shaky hand. It's not my fault. I didn't choose to survive. Okay. Didn't choose to survive. Looks like it was originally a landscape painting on the scroll, but not much is left of it now. Okay, that's similar to the previous ones as well. 
reusing assets, but it makes sense. Horror games never sell fantastically well, so you don't expect them to remake it from the ground up. There's a clock on the wall. There is indeed. There are two ink boxes on top of an old Japanese chest. The lacquer on the outside of the box is peeling and the colour is faded. Nothing to get excited about. Fair enough. For anyone that's interested, I am trying to figure out how to play the fourth game. But I think it only released on the Wii. And only in Japan, so there's a English text version. But it's not going to be easy to get hold of. But I will try if there's enough interest. There's a small kimono inside the chest. It looks like something a young girl might have worn. Oh... That's where I was a moment ago. Oh, got another viewer. Welcome, next viewer. Hope you're having a nice evening, morning, afternoon. Sealed by some strange power. Ooh, ominous powers. Or a strange power called a lock. Not where the Loch Ness monster is, obviously. I'm babbling now. Okay. Again, I mean, the character models have got a lot better, and the camera's got a lot better. I wonder if the story's going to be better. Although I loved the ending to the second one. I was confused by the amount of twins involved in the whole process. But I did like the whole butterfly aspect at the end. That was really cool. Okay. They also liked these rooms in the previous two games. Oh, I've lost half my viewers. All four of them. Down to two. Um, which one of them is myself, because it's my iPad. But, you know. There we go. God, I missed it. Son of a bitch. Okay, we've got a staircase going up. I like to check the ground floor first. Can I get down there? Oh, I thought that was a ladder. Oh no, it is a ladder. Okay. No, let's check the floor out first before doing any of that upstairs malarkey. this. The door is locked. The key is engraved with the bellflower design. Okay. So we've got two locked doors. She comes from the school of going down ladders slowly. Okay. So up the stairs we go. You suppressing circle. Okay, we got some points. Oh, what are those? Are those? Oh. Something is reflecting the light. The old-fashioned camera carved in the back. Camera Obscura. Maybe that's the name of the camera. Basic functions and shoot instructions added to file. You can consult... Yeah, alright. Okay, we've got a 
blue flame of the lantern is lit. You can save. Yay. There we go. Cool. There's some dying equipment in the cupboard. Panels are torn and I can see into the room. It's a big room and several lights seem to be burning, but it's dark and the corners are hard to see. Yeah, you can see we're just fine. Oh. Oh, I've got the amount of ammo at the bottom now. Lame. I was hoping they'd give me infinite ammo. A peephole has been opened in the walls. The sound seems to be coming from here. Stand in front of the hole and press the X button to have a look through it. Maybe I will. God damn it. I keep on missing really easy shots. Okay. Just go around in a circle. I did indeed. Hmm, how do I get through there? Let's look through the window again. Let me through. Let me in. Why you no let me in? Why? Gotta be quicker in this game.
Oh. Have you seen her? Mayhap I have, mayhap I haven't. Whoa. They don't seem like mean ghosts. The explanation of battle controls has been added to files. Huh. Details pretty cool. It's not showing me the health, but Oh Welcome back, Johnny Two Pairs. How's it going, buddy? Right, then, let me through that fucking door. They just want ghost hugs. Oh, there's some feet. Ghost toes. Going mad. Five hundred dollars. She's gonna scuttle off. She's gonna bend over backwards and run out like a crab. No, no crab escape. No. Oh, topless ghost lady is back. They can have the battle of the boobs. She's freeing the nipple. You gonna get your camera out of her? No, because ghosts. Oh, What I was going to say, until I was rudely interrupted, is ghosts always have really vague intentions. They've got to be really vague about what they want. Okay, so second flashback, and now it's going very Japanese, where they've got a lady in a negligee. I'm going mad! Even though she's the one that survived the car crash. So is she projecting? Oh.
everything okay? Crab person. She's a, definitely a crab person. Crab battle. I just had a bad dream. Crap battle. <laughs> knife. Counterweight the knife. <laughs> Lily Lilo. I haven't watched that in ages. So I have to watch that again soon. That was funny. Was it all just a dream? Anyway, I better get up. Yes, you should. The tattooed woman. The bruise appears. Okay, so this is a little bit different to the previous games. During the course of the game, when you find new information, it will be recorded in the notebook. When there is a new entry in the notebook, the title will appear in the top right. You can access the notebook from the menu. If you press L1 button while the name is shown in the top right, you can refer to that item. Woo! Um, so each one has its own... Okay, the bruise appears. I felt a sharp pain in my shoulder when I woke up, and for a moment I thought I could see some kind of bruise on my skin, but when I looked again, there was nothing there. Was it just a dream? Yes. The abandoned house. I wasn't motiva motivated enough to find out much about the place before I went. About all I knew was that it was supposed to be haunted. Ooh. How do I change page? Ah. What was behind the strange daydream vision I had in that house in the snow? Was I just worn out, still scarred from the accident? Or are the rumours true? Was he really there? The manner of sleep. I ru the ruined house I wandered in my dream the night I got back after my vision on that assignment. Something about it reminded me of the haunted house where I saw you. It seemed too real to be a dream. Daydreams, visions, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe you're batshit insane. You are so. My fiancé. Not mine, her fiancé. He was an editor who worked on books of folklore, philosophy and anthropology. Hmm. Is it the guy who's been leaving notes all the way through the first two games? We met as students. He was the opposite of me in every way. Quiet and kind, like gently falling rain. Oh, Like a soft shower that washes everything clean. Which means, if she's the opposite of that, she was loud and not kind. And she made everything dirty. Like mud. He passed away two months ago in an accident caused by careless driving. Miko, Miku Hinasaki. Miku Hinasaki, younger sister of Yu's best friend. Okay. She lives with me now and works as my assistant. I haven't met her brother. You told me she had lost a relative in an accident. She helps me out in all kinds of ways, not just with work. She's cheerful and hardworking. If not for her, I don't know how I would have made it through after you passed away. Crap battle. Um, the tattooed woman. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor. Her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. She came closer and I ran away before I knew what was happening. All I remember is an intense fear. I can still feel her cold stabbing fingers on my back of my shoulder where she touched me. Woo -woo. It's hard to believe it was only a dream. Mother and daughter. Mother and child who appeared in my dream in old fashioned kimonos. They were looking for someone calling out in sad voices to him. Who could they be? Who indeed. They're not space pirates, that's for sure. It's amazing to see what the graphics look like without it going through the PS2. I used to do this kind of work as well, but I used to like reading the magazines too, but it's not the kind of thing I enjoy anymore. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
And all of some scenic shots I've taken for work. Let's take a look at how good her photography is. Hmm. Meh. Bright colored roll down shade hangs over the window. Miku picked it out and bought it for us the other day. She lies. She's a crap. She's a crap person. From here, you can see it right across the living room on the first floor. It was one of the main reasons we took the house. It's a little big for two people, but it's nice and cozy, and we like the idea of always being able to know where the other person was around. Even if this is my house, I don't really like to go into her room without permission. I know Miku wouldn't care at all, though. That's very polite of her. Use room. Ever since the accident, I try not to come in here unless I have a good reason. Okay. Good morning, Ray. It looks like it's going to rain all day today, too. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to relax? Ray, you've been working too much lately. You were woken up by a bad dream this morning. Not to mention what happened when we were collecting the data the other day. Anyway, let's try to take it easy today. That reminds me, there was a letter. It's addressed to you. This isn't going to get confusing. Sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiance? I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear many similarities to the strange disease associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumour, but I've heard there was a psych psychiatric study done. If you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it'll provide a clue. I'm taking a break from my all my other work to devote myself to studying to the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents I've studied, that camera I sent you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people and the urban legends. If you hear anything, please tell me regards. K. Amakura. It's from K. Amakura. He's written several times before. Have you still not told him about you? Yeah. I wonder if it would be in you's room. Well, I'll check up there in a moment. Let me check the rest of the house first. The storage space under the stairs. Oh, welcome, new person. Welcome to the stream. Uh, the storage space under the stairs is full of old magazines and waffle irons. <gasps> There's a cat! The corner is an ornamental pot. I'm not looking at the plant, I'm looking at the cat. We shall photograph the cat. And we shall call you um, Cat. I think it's even got pictures of cats on Cat's bowl. Decided against having a TV in our own rooms and bought a bigger one for the living room instead. I hardly watch it at all these days. It's one of those ones with a big booty on it. Big booty TV. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. Carrying those things is always a bastard. Okay, that's a nice coffee table. Okay, there's a cat. So I'm happy there. Some pie for Miss Miggins. Uh, stuck to the refrigerator door on many uh, on my work schedule and calendar with the supermarket discount days marked on it and post-it notes with recipes on them. Miku cooks all the meals. She seems to enjoy doing chores around the house. I don't know what to do without her, really. Oh, got another person. Welcome to the stream. Next person. I'm investigating a kitchen. It's thrilling, I'm sure. I don't trust her. She's not to be trusted. Although, slightly sexualized with the uh, leggings. Okay, let's go up to the ghost room.
No, I don't want to investigate the potted plant. I want to investigate the cat. Cat? Maybe it's a ghost cat. Maybe that's why I can't talk to cat. What are you looking at? Crab person. Oh, well, we've got four people. Woo! Welcome, everybody. I'm looking around a house for ghosts. I'm taking pictures of cats. There was something about some sort of camera obscura that you owned written in that letter. The camera obscura, could it be the same camera I saw in my dream? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. This should be the cat's room. She should get rid of her dead fiancé's stuff and dedicate the whole room to the cat. Like with those shelves. May I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask. Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. Definitely make it into a cat room. Anyone else in the room played this one? Okay, so the pacing in this one seems to be a bit slower. Oh. Thin ray of sunlight comes through the drawn curtains. It's always raining here. Whenever I hear the sound of the rain, I can't help thinking back to what happened that day. Very minimalist. Oh. Anything in here? No. Clothes are still hanging inside the closet, so not to tidy them away. Once they were in boxes, I knew they would never come out again. No, oh, also kind of sad. The bookshelves are full of volumes of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. They're all books you used for his work, the ones that were published by his company. There was a time when I used to be interested in them, but it was only a passing phase. As most people do. There are typed and handwritten letters on the desk, along with several books. I've hardly touched anything in here since that day. I just can't bring myself to tidy everything away. There's a notebook left out on top of the desk. Perhaps somebody was in the middle of working. Somebody? Your fiancé? Is there only... But anyway. Perhaps somebody was in the middle of working. Yes, perhaps they were. Oh, got a bit of reading, so if I stutter, I apologise. Many of the urban legends classified as Lost Village are modelled on real incidents such as a village was ruined when one villager massacred the others. They are often an amalgamation of well-known actual incidents, legend and oral tradition. Settings such as the isolated mountain village or the bygone customs, like night trysts. I, I don't know what a tryst is. Trist, trysts, or ceremonies often act to trigger the incidents themselves and these in turn become a motive motif for the urban legends. The reason for the popularity of urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city or the modern bias towards the ancient. To people in the modern city, the village is the wilderness and those who live there are different. Perhaps that scorn or fear finds expression in the urban legend. Hi Diadrax, how's it going? Uh, the game's making me read loads. I hope you're having a nice day. <laughs> What's up? For that reason, the setting of the legend must be the isolated mountain village. Further bygone customs are attractive to elements that end up acting to provoke the incident. As a case in point, there is a story about an area around the Minakami Dam where Mayu went missing. I'm not bad, thank you. I'm not great at reading because I'm dyslexic, so I, I apologise if I stutter lots. Um, I'm enjoying it. 
although there's a lot more reading in this one, and not much has happened. Is it? It seems to be every bit is based in her dreams in that village. Which I don't mind. That's kind of cool. Are you playing anything at the moment? Um, the Lost Village. In the mountains of the Minakama area, there was once a massacre in the so-called Lost Village. Years ago, on the night of a certain festival, there was a great massacre and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. Can't go wrong with chilling, my friend. Especially on a Sunday. Got to get up early tomorrow morning, so I've been relaxing all day. I've been a space pirate, and now I'm hunting ghosts. How about yourself? Been up too much today? If you walk in the forest where the village once lay, there is a small guardian statue, and if you continue, you will come to a shrine gate that forms the entrance of the village. If you should pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village, where day will never again break, and the woman's horrific laugh rings through the village. Oh, he's still sick. I'm sick for like a... must be best part of a week now, isn't it? Four or five days? Damn. Well, I hope you feel better soon. You should... I always feel better if I get dominoes. Although it fucking it costs a lot. Um, next we have the Manor of Bizarre Murders, where the same tragedy recurs. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking it resembles the pattern of the village as it is made up of the elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has to do with Mafuyu's disappearance, which is the first game. <laughs> hey, at least if the beginning of your year is shit, you've got a nice low bar and you can work up from there. Myself, I lost like a stone last year and I gained half of it back. So as long as I can beat half a stone by the end of this year, then it'll be a good one. The House of Mutilation. In the mountain area of Himuro, there are mountain there remains a manor years ago where it's said to be a massacre. There have always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirited away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and heads severed off. I thought they were pulled off by ropes. One more example is the seemingly related manor of sleep urban legend that I'm researching now. Okay, so this is going to be the premise of this game. The Manor of Sleep legend was picked up in various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. This newspaper is from the early 1900s and is of no relation to when the Manor of Sleep legend was taken up, but the background of the spirited of ways and those people's later conditions bear many similarities to the Manor of Sleep urban legend. Whew, that's a bit of a mouthful. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may trace back to the 19th century, and I've seen legends in several folklore books that may have become the basis for the manner of sleep. Dun dun dun! Perhaps this is what Kay was asked to investigate. No shit. Uh, you add a well organised notebook on urban legends to your file. After you have received new information, you may find related books and documents in bookcases or desks. Whew. Tell you what, I am. I'm going to have like a jaw like Desperate Dan by the end of this game. A series of vanishings across the region. According to sources, before dawn yesterday, a mother and daughter who live in Myojin village went missing. The missing are Meki Kazuhara and her daughter Kozu. Or Kozue. Since last year, the two have been searching for Kozuhara's missing husband. The two reportedly wandered the mountains nearly every day. The inf informant says, I hadn't seen them for several days, so I went to visit them. There was no answer, so I went inside, but they were gone. I only saw some black soot-like marks. Similar disappearances are being reported across the area, and some are calling them spirited aways. <sighs> you added the newspaper, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There are typed and handwritten letters and several books left out on the desk. So, um, sorry, that was a lot of reading there. So, Drax, um, are you playing anything at the moment? Between being ill and uh, trying to chill, I suppose. Ooh, the camera. On the shelf, a letter and the camera similar to the one I saw in my dream. It looks like a letter from Kay. During oh, another fucking more reading. Um... Dear you, during my research on the manner of sleep urban legend, I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. 
I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near that village. My niece Mio, when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her. I saw this camera, and she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of the unspeakable incident. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. That sounds like sounds like a good yeah, good way to chill out. And yes, Johnny Two Bears, it does look like we've got a reader. I don't necessarily want to be reading it all. I don't mind like a sentence or two, but the one earlier was eleven fucking pages. For now I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look over it for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know what you find then. <sighs> K Amaker. It is awesome, I'm just not very good at um, reading out loud. Because sometimes when I'm reading it, I kind of forget the meaning of the words, so it's just like I'm reading a manual rather than a story. Um, could this camera be the same as the camera obscura I saw in my dream? Yes, we've already gone over this. Um, this is older than the one in the dream, and the inscription on the back is illegible. Even so, it does look very similar to the camera obscura. I tried pushing the shutter button, but there was no response. It looks like it's broken. There's still an old film inside. Musty film. The film looks pretty old, but it doesn't seem to have been spoiled by being exposed at all. What could be on it? I wonder if I could develop it in the dark room. Ooh, okay, cool. Let's go to the dark room. Of dark. Whoa, -ho, we've got five people in my room. That's... They don't normally get that kind of number. The cat. The cat speaketh. The cat. You are officially the best character in this game. Okay, we need to name this cat, people. Antonio, Antonio and Fonzie, both really good. Uh, <laughs> those are both really good, and they've both got a very um, Italian, there's an Italian theme going on here. Not entirely, sh entirely? entirely sure why. Um, Antonio Fonzie is the cat's name. Uh, that is, a, that is a, cool, a cool name. Where the fuck is the dark room? Antonio Fonzie. Um... Okay, where is the fucking dark room? Um, uh, crab ladies here. Speak, crab person. Am I going mad? Where is the... Is it down here? As, did the cat teleport down? The cat! Antonio Fonzi. Cat teleporter. Let's get a good look at you, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's just chilling. Fucking love that coffee table. Right. Onward. Yes, no doubt the cat will be able to sense things that the character can't, right? They're having one of those wonky camera moments. So this is the exit. Yeah, so the dark room's not going to be down there. I can see my face reflected in the mirror above the wash basin. Maybe I've lost a little weight again. You keep on telling yourself that, lady. There's no one in the bath, but when I'm busy, I like to soak in the tub every day. Recently, though, I've just been taking showers. Yeah, I know the feeling. A clothes chest that Miku brought with her from home, inside of Miku's kimonos in the funeral morning that I have just worn once. Oh, we've got 
an altar slash shrine. Can I not open this? Use altar. You. No, you. Right. It's got to be the dark room now. <laughs> nope. Mind. Okay, so there's still two rooms directly behind me. Fair enough. But isn't that where I came from? Wrong button. No, no, I'm wrong, because that's the cat room. Well, they're all the cat room. In fact, you can tell that cat has to be a ghost cat. Otherwise, all the doors would be open, because the fucking cat would make a, would have a fucking fit if all of them were open. Uh, all of them were shut, even. This is supposed to be a storeroom, really, but they put in a sink so I could develop pictures here. And have a shit at the same time. Maybe not the last part. Undeveloped film. There's an old roll of film from inside the camera obscura. There's definitely something on the film. I wonder if I can develop it. <gasps> Those are the pictures I took in the flashback. <laughs> they are the best. Especially if you have, like, a phantom poop. Who knows? No one knows. Not even you knew whether you had the poop or not. Yes, that's... Let's develop the film. And it, oh, an image appeared of a crying woman just as I thought. I must have taken this during that dream. Yeah, yeah. I think that's when you would start going a little bit mad. If your dreams actually made it into reality. The camera obscura, the abandoned house, the picture I took in my dream. Maybe if I investigate this woman, I can find something out. I don't have any film I can develop now. Okay. Let's go speak to Cat. Cat will know what's next. I knocked on the toilet door, but it looks like no one is inside. Okay. Is that all of this area checked out? Um, how's she going to investigate it exactly? Are we actually going to go to the house or is she only going to dream about it? Because going to sleep, I wouldn't necessarily call that investigating. There's, okay, the front room's safe. We're good there. Oh. What do you have to say? Okay. Miku, about the woman in this picture, I was wondering if I could get you to try and find out as much as about her as you can. Anything is fine. Yes, well, this is a very old picture, so... I found it in Yu's room. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There's just something about her. Hmm, there might be something wrong go something going on with the text. I'll check and see if it's the emulator being weird, because that sounded completely garbled then. Or she could be a crab person that I'm worried about. If you show the photos you've developed to Miku, sometimes you can ask her to investigate them for you. If you have them investigated, you can come talk to Miku later and get books and other information. Okay, that was the trigger. Night has fallen, you can check the bed with the X button, you can sleep. Okay. By checking the camera obscure on the desk, you can save your progress. Okay. I'm guessing I just have to go to bed. There's probably nothing else I can find. Just an excuse to get her in a nighty, which I'm not complaining about. It looks good on her. Let's see if there's anything going on in his room.
Oh, looks like I've got a 20th subscriber. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I'm not reading fucking 11 pages again. Nothing going on in here. Yeah, there definitely does seem to be... Blue is definitely the theme colour of this game. Let's see if Miku is around. I would go into um, my file and start reading through all the documents, but I've done enough reading for this hour. <gasps> we get to speak to Cat. There you go, worth every penny. We spoke to the cat, everything is good. There's going to be nothing, is there? It just wants me to go to sleep. So yeah, I want to play the fourth game, but the problem is, it was only ever on the Wii, I think. And... You have to get an English translation patch, but the English translation patch only works with the Japanese physical copy of the game put into a Wii and then up to... Ah, oh, it sounds like a pain. Oh, hi, Amara. How's it going? I don't think we've spoken before. How's your evening going? Oh, she's running around like a mental drunk person. I'm going to go into the dark room again, then I'm going to head back to the bedroom and go to sleep. Well, I'm glad you're in a good mood. Do you have a favourite horror game as well? Six people in my room. Whoa, this is new. Right, let's see if there's anything we can do. I tell you, I go into the dream world. I, I'm, This is what I'm going to guess. I go into the dream world. I do part of the story. I come back. I take a photo. And then progress the story that way. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. So let's go to bed. That, that sounded weird. Grab the cornflakes. Have a nap. Can I open it? Nope. Oh, it does move a little bit. Some early, um, what's it called? Fabric animation. Whoa, exciting topic of conversation incoming. I like horror games a lot too. Um, I've never played these ones before. I'm playing all these blind, but I don't, I'm not sure why I didn't play them when I was younger. I must have been playing something else at the time. Okay, let's save one more time then. Well, Marok J, if you've got any games you want me to play, by all means, tell me and I can put it on my list. I'm not playing Chucky Egg. <laughs> oh, no way. Cool. You can tell me all the mistakes I'm making. Okay, so they are sending me to the same house each time. 
Okay. Cloth physics. Best cloth physics ever. Ah. I'm not fast enough. In the previous games, I was quite fast. But this one, they've amped it up a bit with how fast the uh, ghosts move. Right, okay. I'm going to get me some ghosts. I wouldn't mind playing the newest one on, is it the Wii U? But I'd have to get a bloody Wii U to do it. I'm one of the seven people that bought one originally. Mainly for Bayonetta. And I didn't even like, well, I enjoyed Bayonetta 2, but it wasn't anything as good as the first one. Is that one of the modes you get for completing it? Because at the end of the second one you were given different missions. And I didn't do them. I wasn't good enough. Oh, got some more film. Nice. Same stuff. Take this slow. No need to rush. I'm going to miss it again. Son of a... I appreciate that, Merrick. Very nice. What, you're about to go to work, are you? Where are you from exactly? Or are you about to do a night shift or something? Oh, no way! You're my first Korean viewer. That's so cool. Um, I, what was the horror game I was playing? Um, there's a couple really good Korean ones that I've played. There's one called Detention, and there was another one that is based in a school, but it was first person. That one was really cool. It was very hard, though. Um, you're running away from, like, the cleaner or something, and I, I got stuck on it. I might stream that, actually. That's very cool, though. I'm annoyed, I can't remember the name of the game now. Oh. I don't remember being up here before. What's your, your favourite... Um, well, see you next time. You have a good one. Thank you for watching. Take care. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I'm lost. Right. Oh, we've got a few sets of stairs. Sorry, I got caught up in talking. So I apologise for being lost. I'm going to go back down... We're just going to have a look around this place. Okay, so it's like the second game. Quick function alarm. I'm going to sneeze. 
When being attacked by a ghost, the top part of the viewfinder may flash red as an alarm will ring. <laughs> if you shoot during the fatal frame, yeah, I know how this bit is. It's the chain shot. It's about more crap at doing. Oh, that looks a little bit ominous. Let's investigate. Oh, it looked like blood on the wall. Huh, is the blood not there until I look through the camera? That's cool. Okay, I like that. <laughs> That's actually investigating. Okay, we've got another locked door. With grumpy noises behind it. The door is locked, the keyhole engraved with a four point well design. Okay, so it looks like there was three sets of stairs. I don't normally do uh, streams over an hour, but I've actually got people viewing today, which is nice. So I will keep on going as long as people want to watch. Oh, well, that that looks like a cupboard that could be moved. Seriously, let's move this cupboard, people. Is that another blood-stained corner? No, no blood. Fucking seriously. There seems to be a door in the wall. Uh, the door in the wall behind the chest. That's a weird line. Maybe it leads up to the roof. I tried to move the chest, but it's too heavy. Probably only a man could move it. Mm, I'm pretty sure she could move a cupboard. You could take the drawers out. Yeah. Only a man can move that. Is that not doorway? Ah, funky camera angles. Right, let's go up again. Go to butt. Check out the butt. Right, we've got another little door. Oh, we've got a puzzle door. Puzzle door. Uh, there is a stone slate on the door and several stones are inlaid. Perhaps it is a contrivance to unlock it. You tried, but it won't open. There is a minute script engraved on the stone slab. Engrave in the pedestal the same number of panes that are engraved on the sleeping stone. What? And what? Engrave on the pedestal the same number of panes are as engraved on the sleeping stone. Well, I'm going to come back to that anyway because I don't have the thing to start it. Oh, nice. Got some film. Oh yeah, you can change the film from in here on this one, can't you? That's... I'll go for the Type 14. The outer surface is rotted away from the damp and the decoration is peeled away. Okay, I'm not really finding much. Although the bit with the blood was pretty cool. Maybe I should find that blood and follow it? Right, it didn't seem to lead anywhere though. Oh. The filaments appeared. Where is the thing? There's a thing somewhere. What the fuck? 
shows us something right there. Must be within a room that I can't get to yet. I will get used to the controls. Oh well, I'll go through the door. Oh, it, it is the door, for fuck's sake. An image of something has emerged in the photo. That's the that's the bloody wall, isn't it? I think that's the bloody wall. It's the bloody wall. This says what it says in the first game. When you take a picture of something, it goes, it's it's of somewhere else. Like most photos are of somewhere else. <coughs> right. Where was the bloody wall? Was it just on the end of this floor? There's a ghost around here. Where are you? Under the floorboards. Okay, I'm not sure if I was supposed to have done that part yet. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Let's take a picture of it anyway, just in case that helps. But there's nothing there. go now. So that little doll dissolved so oh I expect the door's unlocked now. Because that's how most locks will work. You take a photo of a murder scene that makes a doll disappear that stops a apparition from blocking a door. It's a simple process. Come on. Oh, hug time. Don't have. Oh, there isn't a reload time like in the second game. Yep, no, nope. Get off. Come on. Oh, did her neck turn weird then? Yeah, I think when the... That's a cool effect. When the ghost touches her, she gets... Ugh. When the ghost touches her, she gets that... Um, that effect that the ghost got. Stop wasting your ammo, Luke. Always miss that second shot. Come on. She teleported. Oh. Whose fault did she just say? The dog's fault. I don't think it was the dog's fault somehow. It's, it's always Dave. Oh, there's another ghost. 
that the door I just came through? Ah, oh, button changes are really confusing me. Got another ghosty. Gonna take a picture of the ghosties. Where are you? Where do you? There you are. But normally when it's red, it means there's one coming for you, isn't it? Oh, it's that her again. Is that Miku? I called out, but there was no reply. A notebook or something is lying at the feet of the crouching woman. That's Yoshino. Okay. So named Takagawa. Given name Yoshi. Nationality Japan. Registered domicile Shizuoka. But that says June 1961. I think it says that anyway. Looks like <coughs> it's, it's got several dates on there, hasn't it? But one of them says 1981, one says 1990, and the other says 1961, I think. But who knows what that? Could this be her name? Yes. See, I thought this was her friend in the back at the beginning, but it's not. I'm completely wrong. Oh. I've got the subtitles on and it's not showing them. <laughs> That's a cool effect. The bruise appears and then promptly disappears. Yeah, I hope so. Soul cream. No, that sounds wrong. Don't buy soul cream. The cat speaketh. What is it, cat? I know I don't trust her either, but I'm not going to go in her room yet because the character's too polite. Oh, what was that focusing on then? Oh, no, it's been left on the kitchen counter. Dear Ray, I've gone out to do some research on the woman from the other day. I'll be back later this evening. Make sure you eat breakfast, okay? Miku. In addition, the kitchen counter at breakfast, perfectly made rice balls has been prepared. Nom nom nom. Alright, cat, I get it. He's fucking... Had a box like that. Right. Hello? It's not Hat's name, Iku, though. 
I was able to get the name and address of the woman in the photo. It's Toshino Takagawa. <gasps> dun dun dun. She's the only survivor of the plane crash that happened the other day. I know I'd seen her before. It all came up together when I asked one of the editors. It seems that she's still being hospitalised. I'll tell you the location of the hospital. Toshino Takagawa. Extreme close up. Slap her. Or get the cat to slap her. <laughs> oh shit. Taking the, uh, it's gonna look like the ghost from the beginning, which just fucking disappeared. Okay, no, I was wrong. Oh, the spirited away, like in the the papers. Could you be any more deadpan? Oh, we've got a shower scene. <laughs> uh, I love the Japanese. Okay, I think I'm going to call it there, and I might make another video tonight, I might not, but it is 9 o'clock, so the chances are probably against. But I appreciate you watching, um, thank you everybody, and I will catch you later, well, I hope to catch you again later. See you later, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.